Okay, so we are printing our second model on the new MakerBot Replicator 2. This time it's a uh, double helix shaped like a DNA, uh, a file that we found on Thingiverse. Um, we use the Replicator G software to slice it up and we're sending that those slices down through a USB wire to the MakerBot and there it's printing it. And how many slices was it? Uh, about 305 slices. Each layer uh, was 270 microns. That's 0.27 millimeters thick. And the double helix is interesting because it's got uh, this ladder-like shape which is twisted. But then the rungs of the ladder uh, don't really have any support under them. So it's amazing how the 3D printer is able to print it. Um, and what we can observe is that uh, it's sort of uh, spewing out, out a spider web for creating those uh, rungs. Um, and then basically layering on top of that, right? So, right. so the one thing is, when you, if you imagine, you're, you're literally printing something in the middle of the air. Because you don't have you don't have structure underneath you in a double helix as the lattices or not lattices but rather rungs like like Arpon is saying are wrapping around. There's nothing underneath you. So it, what's amazing is that when it's printing, it's actually um, it, the material's not falling down or anything due to gravity. Yeah. I mean, that that's the really cool part of this. We can observe that some of the rungs um, have you know some strands have uh, sagged a little bit in the middle. But that is to be expected because it's it's in molten form when it's um, going across that span. Um, but otherwise, the rungs are relatively you know uh, well formed, and it's almost done printing now. So wow. we should be able to pluck it out um, soon enough. Okay. What's the t countdown on the uh, on the printer? About five minutes. About more. five minutes. All right. Yes. Great. Awesome. All, All right. right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Okay.